Here we are at the Hydropulse rig. And what this does is simulate road test conditions so they can test the component tree on the chassis and on the vehicle itself. So what we're going to do is have a look round. On this test trip, we are testing parts or mounting on the frame. So here we are underneath the test rig itself. And as you can see, this seven ton chassis has been suspended by four giant arms. And what's happening is this is simulating a road test condition. And as you can see, it seems to be a very, very bumpy road. One month on here is equivalent to five months out on the road. First step, we, we make measurement with real cars on real roads, right. on very bad road with big bumps and this one. The displacement the forces normally come from the road, from the bumps and this one, are simulated here with hydropulse cylinders. You can see it here, directly to the frame. Talk about shake, rattle, and roll. This vehicle is actually shaken, rattled, and very rolled. And if you look at the engine there, inside the chassis, that's quite frightening to me. The first point you see here is not a complete car. You don't need a complete car. When you are on a, on a real road, you need a car with complete. Right. Here, we don't need a cap. We don't need an engine in function. We don't need axles. We need only the part in itself and a few uh, parts uh, around there. That's one reason why we do this. Here in the room, you can test every day. It can snow, it can rain, it's can very hot, it's no problem. It's always the same. And we are faster here. When you're on a real road, you have uh, people who drive the car, they kind of drive day and night, okay, they can change the people, but it's constant. And it's always the same. We are four times or five times faster than you tested on a special test track. These are the reasons why we do this here. And this is where all the data is collected. And as you can see, there's a lot of information gathered, which just goes to show that a test rig like this is worth its weight in gold as far as research and development is concerned.